Now, when you think of something good, what comes to mind? Maybe it's winning the lottery, watching a friend come back from the dead, or maybe musically being shot down. Oh. oh. And that's what this is all about. My friends, great news. Musically, that terrible website where you saw the, the small children and the Rick and Morty memes, it's been shut down. It's gone. Thank you, God. Doing more justice on the internet. Now, please just give PewDiePie's login to me. Now, the problem is that Musical.ly is actually being shut down. We're going to have a similar problem that what we had with the Viners and them on their refugee boats moving over to YouTube. Because, boys and girls, we are going to have ourselves some musically refugees well it's not really musically refugees because musically it is being turned into uh TikTok. so it's, it's not technically a refugee but at the same time shut your mouth you clicked on the video <laughs> what's wrong with pyro's hair guys it looks really bad he got a haircut he looks like jake paul shut up now remembering back to the viner invasion we had many offenders for example Jake Paul, what? What? Logan Paul. I'm vegan now. Lele Pons. Yo, yo, check this out. Okay, look at the picture I just sent you. It's the ugliest picture of me ever. Also, I'd like to give a special shout out to Lele Pons. Every video I've made on her, she seems to claim all the revenue on it. So thank you, Lele Pons, for being that much of a scumbag that you can't take criticism. And instead of striking the video down, you just claim the money off it. I, lo I love you very much. You're a great content creator. I salute you. Now, the Viner Invasion was terrible. We had poorly done skits, terrible music videos. But the positive thing is about the Viner Invasion... You could actually understand what the Viners are saying. Do it! I hear this is the iPhone. Look at it, you guys. This is the iPhone. I don't want it to fall, so I'm gonna put my. Because think about it. With Musically, you don't need to speak in the video. You just mime what someone else is saying. So what happens when you take a bunch of uh, special people that can't speak and put them onto YouTube? This is what happens. <laughs> Now I know what you're all gonna say, Pyro, stop bullying kids. Stop bullying kids? When I stop bullying kids, you will tell me to stop bullying kids again. Th there's no winning. Uploads Petscop 2? No, Pyro, we don't care. We just want you to bully more bullying kids. Lele Pons, you're next! Smash like to stop bullying, please. If we can get a like, that means one less child bullied. We already got little Tay to basically commit media death <laughs> she's gone now the first member of the musically refugees you have jojo siwa i'm pretty sure i'm saying that wrong because clearly this girl does not look like a member of the joe star family if she is i would stop reading and watching jojo altogether and go watch a much better anime Yu-Gi-Oh gx <laughs> now you can imagine that this child being a musically refugee and coming onto youtube What's the first thing you need to pick up when coming onto YouTube? That's right, clickbait. You need to clickbait all your videos. I need your help. Where she looks sad and confused. Like she's not sure what direction she must take in her life. What are you gonna do when you reach the 7 million subscribers? Honestly, I have no idea. So I need you guys to all do me a huge favor. Comment down below what you want me to do when I hit 7 million subscribers. Hold up a minute. All she's asking is what to do for her 7 million subs. What? She, but she doesn't look sad or confused in this video. Clickbait. Disgusting. <laughs> uh, parole, you've, you've clickbait in the past. Come on. We've got another amazing video from her as well. 100 happy meals in one day challenge. Now, I don't know how a small child can eat a hundred happy meals in one day. We shall see if she can eat a hundred happy meals in one day. Hey everyone, it's Jojo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, what's up guys? Today I can hey make everyone, the happy Jojo. meal challenge. You could literally just have her at a funeral. Like, what's up guys? I'm here at my, my grandfather's funeral. It's great. We're so good. We're having a good time, you know? Dad! Dad! Oh, look what we got here. The entire video is just her eating food. It's like a mukbang. You know what a mukbang is? 
It's where fat people eat food, and apparently that's that's entertainment. Mm. Now, obviously, the video is staged. You're probably wondering how I came to such a stupid conclusion that is unfounded and holds no evidence. Well, it's the fact she did not eat 100 Happy Meals because she left all the goddamn apple juice cartons by the side. I want everyone to smash, smash like. I'm sorry, but if you're going to buy 100 Happy Meals and you're not even going to drink the apple juice, you should be sent to some sort of gulag, then prison, and then die. The worrying thing is about eating all that food, uh... It just gives me flashbacks to Joey's World Food Review. <coughs> Hi everyone, it's Joe from Joey Super Cool Food Reviews. I'm being Now another member of the Musical.ly Refugees. We have your boy, or should I say, your boys, the Dobre Brothers. No! no, 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 no. Now the Dobre brothers are basically the Romanian Paul brothers. And the problem is, instead of there being two of them, there's fucking four of them. Can we can we just get some can we just get some Romanian music up in here, please? Some some stereotypical Romanian music. Oh yeah. Oh that's great. I can already I can already smell the, the cabbage rocks. <laughs> now the Dobre brothers are definitely a cut above the rest. You know why? Because they make amazing, A-plus quality music videos. Started from the grocery store, now I own the grocery store. Yes. Head spinning through the aisles, flipping through my marble floor, dropping this. It's great rapping, it really is, where you don't change your pitch or tone at all. Started from the grocery store, now I'm a YouTuber. Get yourself off that pedestal, Zeus. Shut <laughs> I'm Zeus. I create all of man. I harness the lightning. And also, I do YouTube videos on how to invest in Bitcoin. Now, alright, that wasn't a fair chance. That was actually really unfair of me. So, allow me to give the Dobre brothers another chance to prove themselves with another music video instead. Three months, Shadi hit me up, wanna chill. Said it's been too long, gonna stuck another mill. I don't see no end. But I beat the start, I ain't even done, bumping like my heart. Now this rap video does actually have a decent beat, I'll give you that. There's two problems with it. Firstly, you're rapping about having wealth while wearing your off-white and your Gucci, and you're inside a fucking Walmart. And you have some poor woman, bless her soul, just trying to do her shopping, you know. She's saved up, she won the lottery, she just wants some little baby's ice cream and you are just dancing on the aisles and she probably had a heart attack and collapsed. You men, you brothers, brothers of four, you should be sent to prison. Also, one of them's got like a, a red jumpsuit on. Looks like a, is that Supreme? Oh my God, guys, it's been confirmed. It's Supreme Jack Skeleton. Now to those critics that aren't impressed by the music videos, never fear because the Dobre brothers do something even better. And that is called backflips. We are the Dobros and we do backflips. <laughs> they literally begin every video by saying, We're the Dobre brothers and we do backflips. Welcome back, Dobre Army. We are the Dobre brothers and we do backflips. R really? Is that is that a quality? Look, I could do a backflip. Allow me to show you me doing a backflip, okay? Do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking hit my head off the roof. Hey, can you edit this out of the video, man? I did it! Oh my god, that was, that was a backflip. Dobre brothers, more like dick brothers. <laughs> now to the extreme critic, and we are talking arm on white levels of critic. People that despise all forms of entertainment, all forms of media, and can't find anything interesting. I have one thing that might, just might win you over with the Dobre brothers. They also do pranks. For example, in this prank, they break into a car dealership and stay there over the night. Oh, yo. Steve, get in here, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm in here. Oh, oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yo. You can even sit up here. There's no yeah. wind. Yo, please. All right, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, just, uh, yeah, we gotta go. We just got caught. Yeah.
Now, ignore the fact that the owner of the car dealership leaves the dealership without turning the lights off or even locking the front door. Because as you know in a car dealership, they're fine with the community, the community respects them. They just leave the door unlocked. If someone wants to steal a car in the middle of the night, it's fine. It's fine. We get enough turnover. We get enough profit. They both let you leave? Yeah, look at the same. I thought they left. Shh. Why are you holding on my arm, bro? Oh my god. Was that was that getting a bit homo erotic there? Oh my god. The, the Dobre brothers are in love with each other. That is so sad. Smash like. I pray that there is a fan fiction of the Dobre brothers within the week. We got another prank. We deleted Lucas and Marcus's YouTube channel, which is two of the brothers. Their channel's fine. I was going to do a breakdown of the video, but I, I can't be asked, really. Now, for some reason, the Dobre brothers seem to have this uh, quite bad obsession with slime. If you type in Dobre brothers slime, you're going to get a lot of slime pranks. Clearly, uh, they all watched Ghostbusters as a kid, and one of them jacked off to Slimer. Borax. That's good. That's enough? That's, That's it? it? Sure, I want it to be very, very sticky. <coughs> now, one prank that the Dobre brothers seem to love even more than the slime pranks is the bed pranks. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Marcus. Wakey, wakey. Uh, oh, oh, three. No. no. Ah! They are clearly asleep. Can you stop commenting on their videos saying it's fake, LeMayo? Because it isn't. It really isn't. So the Dobre brothers have a bed prank where they carry a family member and then they throw them in the ocean or in the water and then they wake up. They've done it to every family member at this point. Get closer. There's no way out there. That's not safe, is it? And I'm pretty sure they've all developed PTSD from it. Oh, she's awake. She's awake. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now ignore the fact that when they come to a door frame, they just cut to the next shot. <laughs> ignore that. They did not tell their mom to get off the bed and rearrange it. No, they didn't. Again, you are ruining the video. Smash like if if you think the Dobre brothers are the best pranksters on YouTube. Lucas and Marcus are leaving the Dobre brothers. Well, how come in every single subsequent thumbnail, they're together as a four? Could they be lying? No, again, please be quiet. The Dobre brothers would never tell a lie. I have been to Romania. They are good and honest people who would never lie. You are clearly just racist. You are big racist if you think that they would be dishonest. Ignore the fact that they uploaded a video called We Couldn't Save Him, where one of the brothers went on a car and then crashed it, but then mysteriously, the drone footage seemed to break as soon as the crash happened. Sorry. Yo, he's going fast. Let's go. All right, he's passing through the brush right now, coming up to the front of the property. The drone's about to die. Yeah, it might die on us. Let's go. All right, he's close. Passing the front of the pro- Yo! Did you hear that? Is the drone oh, dead? Is the drone working? Oh, man, it just died. What's going on, bro? Did you hear that? Hold up. Lucas! Yeah. Stop! The brothers of <laughs> Dobre. But anyways, guys. Hopefully you're more educated on the Musical.ly invasion. It shouldn't be as bad as the Viner invasion, mainly because Vine got obliterated by Twitter. With the Musical.ly invasion, they're gonna slowly trickle in to the website, but nowhere near as bad as the Viner invasion. But I, I don't know, I'm just gonna stay subscribed to, to Joji, Jojo, what's, what's, the, the, the little girl that's like five foot nine which is absolutely terrifying. I'm gonna stay tuned into her channel so I can learn to speak Martian. <laughs> hey guys, good morning to every single student who's out in this entire little bit, well that's good, hey guys, good, so glad to hear that. And I'm also gonna stay subscribed to the Dobre Brothers for sick, real pranks that are not faked. And also, I'm not subscribing to PewDiePie because he needs to give me his channel. Smash like PewDiePie's channel.